I've done videos on the past on what microphone you should use for a dual PC stream. Now I'm gonna talk about what microphone is great for everything. So as a dual PC streamer, what's a great option to get your audio from your desktop or your game and your team, as well as your microphone to your streaming PC while still enjoying the gameplay. Or maybe you just wanna talk with conference calls on Zoom or have a single PC stream or you're a content creator. I've got a great solution. It costs a hundred bucks for the microphone with free software. It's called the Rode NT-USB Mini the Rode NT-USB Mini, and it's a fantastic audio quality. Uh, it's also got a really good solution to dual PC streaming problems. Now, what you can do is send all of your audio from your computer, which includes Discord, it could be your game, and your microphone, sound effects as well. You can connect up to four of these at once, send that through one signal through your capture card into your stream PC. You don't have to use voice meter banana or anything like that. Although I will do a tutorial on that in the future. If that shows up, it'll be in the, top right in the cards right there. So what is this microphone? How good is it? And what can it do for you? It's here for everyone. Every single person has a use for this microphone coming right up. Like and subscribe for the algorithm. So the Rode NT USB mini, it's got two connections in the back right here. It's got a USB-C. It's also got an audio headphone jack, which allows you to monitor it if you want to, as well as all your game audio. It's also got an audio volume adjuster right over here, which is super neat. This volume knob controls the audio going into the headphone jack here. It doesn't control any audio going into your software and into your stream PC or any of your other outputs there. It's just for the headphone jack on your microphone. Interesting thing when I first saw this microphone is actually detaches. It's a uh, magnetic, which is kind of nice. It kind of flips there. Nothing premium or crazy about it. It is a little kind of, it might flop around a little bit. It's a little loose. Like if, if it moves, I mean, it's going to be on a table, so it's not going to move. But if I want to adjust the microphone, it might come off like that if I wanted to kind of pull it like this and adjust it, um, which you can still do that with a boom arm. I've got a boom arm right there and another one right there for microphones. And I'll link everything that I mentioned in the video down below. The nice thing about this microphone is it's very minimal setup. It's plug and play. Literally plug the USB-C into the back of the mic, plug the USB into your computer. If you have a dual PC stream, plug it into your gaming slash main PC. And then you've got the Rode Connect software, which is free. You can download it there. It comes with the box. By the way, the USB-C cable does come with this microphone. And in addition to this microphone, you can detach it, take the little plastic grommet out of here and mount it on a boom arm. That's really nice. Now you might be thinking, but I already have a GoXLR or I have a Rodecaster Pro, which is right over there on the desk, or maybe some other soundboard, or maybe you prefer using a USB headset. That's totally fine. You can have an audio out from the Rode Connect software into whatever audio device you use. So you can send it to your uh, soundboard, you can send it to your USB headphones, you can still use wireless headphones with this if you want to. And I'm gonna show you how to set that all up. I'm also gonna show you how to use this and what does it sound like if the microphone is in front of my mouth and I'm playing a game, does it pick up keys with the noise gate? It's got some filter and EQ, which is really nice. Let's take a look and see what that's all about. All right, so here we are with the setup and I've currently plugged the Rode NT-USB Mini into the computer just with the USB-C and it's that easy, really. Now you can plug your headphones into the back of the microphone here. So if I just grab this cable, a regular 3.5 millimeter jack into the headphones and then plug the other end into whatever headphones you have. Now you can use this to monitor everything that's coming into your system. So your game, your microphone as well, as well as your virtual signal and I'll show you what that means in a bit as well. Uh, you can get your Discord audio into there or any other virtual input because you have three different channels if you just have one of these microphones. So with all the hardware set up with the microphone, we're gonna quickly go into uh, the system sounds here. So before I go to Rode Connect here, what I'm gonna do is right click on the symbol here, go to open sound settings and make sure that the output and input is set to the Rode Connect software. Uh, this is my soundboard, the Rodecaster. So what I need to do is go to the headphones, Rode NT USB mini. Okay, so now everything is all good with that microphone as well as the input. So make sure that you have the system input as the Rode Connect as well. Now, if you find that any software such as your Discord or something isn't being picked up in the virtual channel here in uh, Rode Connect, what you can do is go to uh, this option here, the advanced sound option. Uh, you can see here that in Discord, nothing is selected or you can't choose any audio settings. Now keep in mind output and input are on top of each other. So this is the output here. I want to make sure that the output is set to my headphones here and then uh, the input I need to make sure that it is the virtual input right over here So now if I go to my 
Rode Connect software, and if I press some buttons here, you can see that if I play some audio from Discord, this is a video right from Discord, uh, any audio from Discord is gonna go into my virtual channel. Nice thing is when I record or stream any of this, I can choose to send those to different audio channels. So when I download the VOD or I play back the recording, I have complete control over each individual channel. Now, one quick note, if you're not getting any audio from your team in Discord to your Road Connect software, make sure that in your user settings at the bottom here, uh, go to your voice and video, make sure that the system input Road Connect is in your input device and make sure that the output is the virtual output. So when you play any audio or talk to your team in Discord, it's gonna show up in the uh, Road Connect software over here in the virtual channel. Like and subscribe for the algorithm. So assuming you've set up your Rode NT-USB Mini to your computer, here's how we set up the software. So when you've opened up Rode Connect on your computer here, if you see this window, just go up here and you can just choose whatever microphone you have. If you have more than one plugged in, you'll see more than one over here. I'm just gonna drag it onto my channel one. Go next and I obviously have my system and I want the virtual because that'll allow me to control Discord audio, or TeamSpeak, whatever uh, team chat you're using and then we'll click finish. Now you can see that's as far as the setup goes. You can already see it's picking up the microphone here and you can see that there are four different channels currently So you got your microphone system So your game and maybe your music or chrome anything like that You've got your virtual which you can set up to discord or whatever team speak you use and then you've got your sound So you can play all of these different sound effects and obviously with these sound effects You can add your own sound effects too. So just drag and drop it onto one of these buttons here You can also create a different windows here or tabs essentially if you're thinking of chrome terms and you can have different ones over here and that's really nice so when you go into your settings here let's go to the preferences now this is important when you're setting up a dual pc stream assuming that's what you have obviously this works with a single pc stream or dual pc if you have a dual pc stream setup this is very useful so monitor out if you have your capture card selected and you're setting your video to go through the capture card you know some people might have audio problems how do you send your audio from your game to your headphones but also let your stream on your streaming PC hear you. This is how you do that. So what you can do is you can choose to send it through the Elgato HD60S. This is including the microphone, game sounds, your team chat, and the sound effects from the sound effects bar over here. That's all going through one signal through the Elgato HD60S in my case, but it could be any capture card that you use, uh, and that'll go into the stream PC. And that's just one audio channel in the stream PC. You can control all of your audio setups right from here. You don't have to touch the streaming PC for any reason. That's really Really useful. Now if I just go back here you can see that you can include or exclude your microphone from that. So if I choose to exclude it my stream is not going to hear my microphone. Obviously that's not what I want to do so I'm going to choose to include my microphone. Now assuming I have a single computer set up for my stream and I don't want to use the microphone or the headphone out on the back of the microphone because you cannot remove the monitoring from your microphone into the headset in the back of this. So uh, I've tried all different kinds of things I've looked up the manual you just can't remove your monitor uh, mix from your microphone into your headphones if you're using the jack on the back of the microphone so if you have your headset or soundboard USB wireless headset connected to your computer that's where you'll select it here and it'll send it straight to the output on your soundboard or whatever headphones you're using if you're doing that make sure to exclude the microphone from that because you don't want to hear your microphone in your headset because it's at a it's about a three to four hundred millisecond delay it's a little bit of an echo it's a little uncomfortable you can't talk with an echo in your headset you'll obviously get tongue twisted uh, so just keep that in mind ultra low latency. It doesn't make a huge difference for me It's just a nice thing to add on uh, But to be completely honest, it's nothing special now if I go to the microphone here Obviously I can mute it or I can solo it. So this is the only thing I'm hearing uh, in the uh, Headphone jack in the back of the microphone here and then obviously I can unsolo that But if I click on the the number here or the color here You can choose to add noise gate compressor. It does it all automatically for you big bottom, you know, just to add some depth to your voice. So I'm just gonna keep those all checked. Uh, at the default settings, they do great. There's nothing crazy about it. I'm gonna also show you what it sounds like with the microphone and the keys. And also how you can mix the game and all of your team chat all in one system. Okay, so that's great. You set up your audio, but how do you set it up for OBS on a single PC stream? So everything's on my main gaming and streaming PC, a single setup. I mean, you can see the monster of a computer setup I have here. I'm able to do that. And in most cases, or a lot of 
of cases, people are doing the same thing. So make sure that uh, when you're in OBS here, uh, you can select uh, right now, this is my soundboard, which is this microphone coming in here. So I can do this in two ways. First of all, my microphone or audio in, I can go to the properties here and I can just change it to the stream input, Rode Connect. What happens is all the audio channels from Rode Connect, the software, which is free by the way, it comes with the microphone. You can send your microphone system, virtual, and all the sound effects. And if you have extra microphones, you can connect up to four of these into USB minis at the same time. It's putting all of those audio channels into one channel so that it all comes into OBS with one channel. So you don't have to mess with any of the audio sliders in OBS. It makes it super easy. You only manage your audio from one place, which is the Rode Connect software. What I'm gonna select is the stream input from Rode Connect and just click OK. Now it's gonna be picking up my microphone here. So if I'm tapping it, you can see it's gonna show up in OBS. Now I think it has a filter here. Uh, yeah, there's an, there's an audio again there. So if I turn that down, now it's not peaking anymore. Normal levels, right now the microphone is, it's about that distance away from my mouth and it should sound pretty decent. It's not recording yet. I'll show you all the audio tests in a second. Like and subscribe for the algorithm. All right, so we know how to set this up and how to use it, but let's take a look and see how this works. What are the best practices for this microphone and what are some do's and don'ts? Also, what does it sound like if I'm touching the keys and uh, obviously the microphone is right here. What is it gonna sound like if I'm playing keys? Is it gonna pick that up and how obvious is it gonna be? Okay, so what I've got now is I've got my headphones into the back of the microphone here because I wanna see what everything sounds like. So right now, the audio you're hearing is the Rode NT-USB Mini. It's on my desk. It's about two hands away from my face. Three, four, I <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so right now what you're hearing is the Rode NT-USB Mini going from the, well, the microphone into OBS. And I'm looking that the audio looks a little quiet. So right now I'm gonna turn it up a little bit and this only affects my headphones because I'm a doofus. All right, let's open the Rode Connect software. And what I can do is increase my microphone volume here. So when I increase that, it's gonna increase it in OBS. And right now I've got the basic audio treatment on here, the, the simple stock stuff, and audio seems to be pretty good in OBS. Now I've got my system audio here. It looks a little loud, so what I can do is I can take it down in the system audio over here. So audio sounds good. Uh, and obviously I can hear my microphone in my headset for some people that might bug them. For me, it doesn't bug me all that much because I'm kind of used to it. I kind of like it. I like to know what the stream is hearing. Um, so there's, there's nothing crazy about that. Uh, right now you also are hearing the keys. So if the keys are loud, then you'll be able to hear them. I can hear them a little bit. If it's distracting, then, uh, well, it's, it's ahead. tough for you, unfortunately. Uh, that's as much as a noise gate as you're gonna get. If you add a noise gate into OBS, you're gonna also add a noise gate to all of the rest of your audio. So if there's quiet game audio like this, your noise gate might cut that out. So you can't add a noise gate in OBS. The basic noise gate with the Rodecaster Pro is pretty good. So if I don't talk and you just hear the keys. Revealing area. Scanning ahead. So you can hear it a little bit, but let's see what it sounds like without the noise gate. So if I click here and take the noise gate off, oh, there's definitely a difference. Yeah, I can definitely hear that difference. So obviously having the noise gate definitely helps. Okay, so now obviously the microphone does sound good, uh, but it's a bit far away from my mouth. So what does it sound like if I put it on a boom arm like this uh, and put it closer to my mouth? Is it still gonna pick up the keys? This is a simple boom arm. I think this cost me like 30 bucks. I'll link it down below in the description if you wanna grab one. I've had this forever and it's done me well. Nice thing about this microphone is it comes off the stand. So I can just, it's magnetic, take it off and uh, I can just slap it right onto there. Real quick, let's take a look and see how directional this microphone is. So right now I'm pointing it directly to my mouth, being recorded in OBS Studio. And if I turn the microphone, I'm turning directly 90 degrees from it. You can hear it's canceling a lot of that audio and it doesn't sound as crisp or clear. So there is some audio removing. Now you can hear the noise gate is taking a little bit of effect now because it's not picking up the audio from the back of the microphone. It's only picking up what's in front, so it's going to cut some of my audio out. Now if I turn back to the microphone, you can just sound how nice that actually is. So with this all the way to my mouth and I'm going to adjust audio, what does it sound like on the boom arm and if there's keys on the keyboard?
like and subscribe for the algorithm. Okay, so now I've set up the Rode NT-USB Mini. It's right next to my mouth and it's on the boom arm. I've also adjusted the audio a little bit so it's not as crazy, but I'm not peaking in OBS. Right now you're hearing the audio from the Rode NT-USB Mini into the Rode Connect software, which goes into OBS Studio and it sounds great. Now if I just shoot here real quick. It's probably a little loud to be honest for OBS. So let's take it down a little bit. Nice thing is I can control all of the audio right from here. And if uh, I had a dual PC stream, again, I would control all my stream audio on the stream PC right from my gaming PC here. I have the noise gate on and uh, currently I'm running around clicking and pressing buttons. And currently I can't hear it as crazy as I used to. Uh, the microphone is closer. I can hear my voice a little louder. And if I stop talking, let's see what it sounds like. Revealing area. Now I am going pretty crazy with my keys, but then again, that's probably what you're going to do anyways when you're gaming. So a very versatile mic, fantastic audio quality, really good for a dual PC or single PC stream. If you enjoyed, leave a like, that would be appreciated. Help push it out to the YouTube algorithm. Thanks so much, I appreciate it. I'll see you next time, but until then, make something great. So, I haven't seen this. The packaging is a little janky, but I'm, I'm gonna give DJ's Rick a break. Guess what this is. Those of you who are able to guess, you, uh, you get some, some pointless brownie points. Oh! <laughs>